G'day, Councillor Nathan Zampronio here. I just thought I'd give you a, a very quick update. And the question is, when will the election be? The elections that were supposed to happen last year were put off to the 4th of September. The elections that were supposed to happen on the 4th of September have now been put off to the 4th of December. There's now a rumour that the elections will be put off until next year. This is a concern. You should be concerned because it's an abrogation of democracy. Certainly there's enough that's occurred in this chamber over the last five years for you to be entitled to cast your decision about whether the councillors done, have done a very good job. The other thing that's concerning is that the electoral commissioner has been given powers so that when the election is held, if the COVID restrictions are still uh, applying or have been recently lifted, the Electoral Commissioner can prevent any electoral material from being handed out at any polling booth, at pre-poll or on polling day, or that there will be no poster material uh, of any description within 100 metres of any polling place. The reason that this is a concern is that there will be a multiplicity of candidates and tickets that will be standing, and you're entitled to judge their wares, what they stand for the position that they're going to take to the election. You might want to vote for a party or for an independent candidacy. But if you don't know what they stand for and they can't get their message out, it's going to be all the harder for them to be able to do that. The benefit in those circumstances goes to the big brands, to the Liberal Party and the Labor Party, who are counting on you to cast an unconsidered vote and to just pick one of the brands because you hadn't heard from anybody else or to incumbents who have a degree of name recognition, or to people who have a well-developed online uh, profile. So my encouragement to you, if this is the environment in which an election is occurring, is to sit up and pay attention, and to tune in, and to find whatever way you can to hear from the various candidates, independent or otherwise, and to hear what they stand for and to cast a considered vote. I'm Nathan Zampronio. Thanks for listening.